what are the signs of somebody that's like, do you think they're like, what, because obviously we're going to, we're, we're, the show is about fostering your, not just your wealth, but your health yeah. and your, and your health is really your wealth really. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 100%. What, what are the, some of the, the factors of like, if someone's on low, like low T, like yeah, how can someone that's, tell? That's, that's super easy, man. You know, like if you feel, Okay, so like let's start with like brain fog. Okay, so if like you're having a hard time keeping up with things, like you, like you, um, you're going through your day and you have to write stuff down to actually keep track of the things you need to do. Right. You're probably a little deficient there. Uh, if you suffer from any kind of depression or anxiety, believe it or not, more people are misdiagnosed with anxiety and depression versus it actually being their hormones being messed up. Right? Mm. Um, what's that? On yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a yeah, because you know the sick care system wants to keep you sick, bro. Yeah. They want to they want to keep pumping those pills because uh, those are dollars. But the um, I will also say you, know, you have a hard time losing weight. Like if you put weight on real easily and you're exercising like meaningfully, if you're eating relatively clean, what I mean by that is you go enjoy yourself like one night a week with your girl or whatever like that, and yeah. you're still eating clean the rest of the time and you're still picking up weight, you probably got a hormone issue. If you're a man and you wake up without morning wood, you definitely have an issue. That's that could be more than just your hormones, though. That can also be your heart. You know, so, uh, you know, the pursuit, you know, the thoughts of wanting to, you know, have sex. I almost said it. I almost <laughs> said it. But the, uh, you know, things like that, you know, are definite signs uh, that you're deficient. And I would encourage anybody that's over the age of like 21, 22, to go get your blood work done and right. do not go to a primary care physician because they aren't going to do the right test. Yeah, it's bullshit. They're still doing BMIs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And see, that's the thing. That, oh, we'll test your testosterone. Yeah, they do the total, but they don't do your free T, your total T, and all that other stuff. Right. And it's important to, to really see what the problem is. The big thing with them is like you're within a range, so you're okay. Yeah, well, see, that's the problem is the low average range is anywhere from three to 500. Mm. Well, if you have 500 testosterone, man, you're an effeminate male. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being. Is that is that too? So what, so no no no. But where, where are you supposed to be at? A thousand, fifteen hundred. You know, honestly, man. Okay, like your grandfather, right? Yes. Like, like he's eating like hearty, healthy food that he, that your grandmother cooked him. He's yeah. outdoors in the sun. He's working hard. He's probably in the in the, anywhere from like nine fifty, like fifteen hundred. I mean, I've I've said this on stream before. I've like, you know, uh, <laughs> so that's I, like a normal. It's normal. Yeah, yeah, but see, the problem is, is we all, that we all eat trash. We stay up too late. We consume social media. We burn out our dopamine receptors. We live right. a stressful life. We worry about money. We worry about this. We worry about that. Yeah, and we just wreck ourselves, right? Yeah. And so the new normal is, yeah, being low T as a male, being beta as fuck. Have you heard about them trying to? They're they're trying to get. They're trying to restrict TRT now. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. So this past year, so that's one of the things I did is hormone court, co counseling for a long time, right? right. I had a whole bunch of different providers that I worked for. Well, what happened is the DEA changed the law back in November of this last year in 2022. Yeah. And so basically, if you're a provider, you have to be licensed in every state that you prescribe to. Mm. Okay. So what they're trying to do is limit the flow of testosterone. Okay. Yeah. And so then they also crack down on the compounding. I love that. Like, limit the flow of testosterone. I love that. Well, that's such a good quote. But that's, but that's what it is. Bro. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. They're like, they're like, okay, so because... You know, if you're an effeminate male, you're easily controlled. If you're a high yep. T male, you're building things, you're leading men, you're you're accomplishing things, right? And so that's the that's the big thing with it. Another thing they did is they cracked down on the the compounding pharmacies. Mm. You know, and made things really difficult. Made and, the, and the compounding pharmacies, oh, the, the, those are like the laboratories where they actually make the stuff. That's or? right. So okay. like the raw materials for testosterone is actually a powder. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So and so that when they compound that product, no, it's not. They have bull testicles anymore, right? No, I don't think so. I think it's it's actually synthesized. You know, yeah, it's yeah. actually not even real. Didn't they, didn't they get it from like a what's it, like, probably like, China? They, they they I forgot where they get it from. Like they 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 originally sourced it from animal actual animals for a while, and then eventually they went over to yams. Like it was, it's like it's synthesized from yams. I think. Hear that, everybody? Eat your yams, man. Eat your yams, eat your, man. Eat your yams, bro. <laughs> eat them up, man. You get swole. No, but the thing is, is that uh, they definitely are trying to uh, make things difficult. So. You know, in one of my in my fitness business, that's one thing I've slowed down on is the, is the hormone coaching. Unless you live in the state of Texas, I can't help you. Now, what I can do is if you do reach out to me, I can point you in the right direction depending on what state you live in. Hey, reach out to these people. They treat they take good yeah. care of you. Now, that does suck that you can't that you can't like go past Texas. But I the one sort of silver lining, which is I guess good or bad and stuff, is that you guys can create a network of people you can recommend people to. Absolutely. Which, which is which is really all which. It does like you. You can control your 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 local state, but then like you can. Damn, that's actually so crazy. So, 